woman in, the, in science, it's quite difficult. And there are a number of reasons for that. It's not because of financial misery. It's basically because of the family. So even if you are a career woman, you need to combine your job and then the family. What they, most of the time, they say that when you are doing science, you are not really a full woman. In Senegal, it's not always easy for women to do science because uh, there are too many challenges and uh, it demands a lot of work, hard work and time consuming. Research was difficult because combining the teaching alone with my family was enough. And uh, if you have to take time out for your family, people make you feel guilty that you must choose. Do you want to be you know, a wife or a mother? Or do you want to be a career woman, you know? So most of the time, it's only later in life, after the family has actually grown, when now you have a chance to actually do proper research. Everywhere, the number of females as professors and associate professors is just very little. It's non-existent. We don't have too much university, so it's a very complicated to get a position at the university. And then besides that, some people don't believe you should be there because you are, a, you know, a female. This is the first time I'm leaving home to do research out of my country. The Science for Women for Africa, I would definitely say is a good project for a number of reasons. I'm in Spain on fellowship. Women in Science. This place is the Spanish National Cancer Research Center. What I do is to look out for compounds in plants that have some biological activity. I'm here in Madrid uh, for research work that have been found by uh, the Foundation Mujeres for La Africa. What I'm trying to do is uh, to understand the West African main future that uh, influence its behavior and mainly rainfall variability over the region. I was looking to find a, a research lab that I can collaborate with in an expert that I'm lacking in. Uh, so to merge my expertise with their expertise in order to, to build something better. The difference between the research I do in South Africa and here in Spain is basically the method of detection. So I think in research it's impossible to work alone, <laughs> especially applied uh, research. It's not possible and in fact that's the reason why I'm here in Info. The facilities here, I don't have back home in Ghana, so that is exceptional. This work is uh, an exploratory work because this model have never been used for this kind of stuff, for the atmospheric context. So the, the future for my research, what I really envision, is to be able to put a scientific rationale behind the traditional uses of our local plants. So this fellowship, it's actually targeting at that. For me, it really helps because then at the end, you are able to start your research, educate, even form networks so that you can actually be able to move and get promoted in your work. I want to go back because I think that there are many things to do at my countries and, and I think that I can contribute in that. Whatever I have learned here, I need to go back and train my colleagues and my students as to the new things I have learned to make the research that we do there better. Some things are possible to do in my country, but not everything. So that is why the hope is that the collaboration continues where we cannot do, then the student can come here and they can do that part, yes. Uh, but also, I mean, we have a strength that we are very good in chemistry and in, in material synthesis. So we could then bring that here. So I think it's a, it's a good match because we complement each other. I'm really happy with the progress that I've made so far. Uh, apart from just the research part, which is in the lab, 
my stay here has enabled me to, to actually just educate myself, expose myself to what the institution has in terms of literature, in terms of their laboratories, which some of them are not related to what I'm doing now, but are going to be related to what I do in the future. For me, it's a learning process and also being able to contribute to, to that at the same time for me is, is exciting and it's, it's great to be a player in this field, yes. It won't be easy, but you can do it. <laughs>